Hey YouTube, I'm back with another mechanical pencil review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pilot Rex Grip mechanical pencil. And I'll go through some of the features of the pencil as per normal and I'll rate it on my rating scale and let you know how you can obtain it and how it compares to some other uh, common Pilot uh, mechanical pencils. So the Rex Grip is in the cheap category for Pilot pencils. This is one of the cheaper pencils that Pilot makes. Uh, it's similar to the Pilot G2 mechanical pencil in terms of its overall quality, and I'll compare and contrast the G2 with the Rex Grip in a little bit. I do prefer the Rex Grip to the G2, and I'll explain why. Uh, let's run down the features of the Rex Grip, starting at the lead sleeve. So we have a retractable lead sleeve on the Rex Grip, always a positive thing. So it's pocket safe, you can carry it around with you, it's not going to damage your pocket. And so whenever you have a retractable sleeve, especially for a cheap pencil, because this tends to be a feature that isn't as readily available on cheap pencils, that's always a good thing. It's got a really nice stylized body. Okay, I got mine in green. It comes in a wide variety of different colors. It comes in dark blue and light blue and sage, like a light sage green and in emerald green, which I got because it's my favorite color, and red and pink and black. So you have a whole bunch of colors to choose from. It has a very thin plastic grip. Still feels really good in the hand. Let's do a writing test real quick. Feels great. Okay. So, cheap pencils like this, like the Rex Grip, are like in my everyday use for writing category, when I don't necessarily need anything fancy, but I want to have functionality. Retractable tip is the huge part of that functionality. The pocket clip, plastic, but really sturdy. Okay, not too springy, not too flimsy. It has a tiny eraser at the top. It has an eraser cap. I'm not a fan of eraser caps because they just get lost, and it's not really necessary for you to cap your erasers, in my opinion. Uh, eraser doesn't wobble very much when you erase with it, which that's a big pet peeve of mine for a lot of uh, small erasers on mechanical pencils, so it's drafting size eraser. Uh, overall, it's a really nice piece, and I'll rate it here in a second, but first I want to compare it to another retractable cheap pencil that Pilot makes, the G2 series, which people are familiar with the G2 styling due to the G2 pens that a lot of people like that have like that gel ink, and the G2 mechanical pencil has a uh, extendable lead sleeve as well. It's not as long of a lead sleeve as the Rex Grip. Um, it has a thicker grip than the Rex Grip does. Um, but overall, its styling is a lot more generic and like generic ballpoint pen looking than the Rex Grip is. So Rex Grip is going to win out on aesthetics as well. It has the same eraser as the Rex Grip. So if you get Pilot G2 mechanical pencils and you, and you end up getting a Rex Grip, the eraser from this G2 mechanical pencil will fit in the Rex Grip. So check that out. Rex Grips are hard to get here in the United States. They're not really a well-known brand, and I don't know if that's um, not not brand per se, model, I should say. They're not a, a well-known model or, or even an available model. I've never seen them in a store other than on Amazon. They don't even ha have them on jet pens, I don't think. You have to go through Amazon. They used to have them on jet pens, but they don't anymore. Have them on Amazon. Uh, it just looks like Pilot went all in on the G2 series mechanical pencil because if you can't find the Rex grip, you can get a G2, a set of G2 mechanical pencils, three of them for like 450. So that's an about the same price point as the Rex grip is on Amazon if we assume that you're getting free shipping. So Rex grip varies anywhere from $1.50 to $5 depending upon the color. Harder to find and more desirable colors like this green are a little bit more expensive towards the $5 end, but they have a lot of these Rex Grip pencils that the clue they're trying to get rid of because they're selling them for like a buck fifty a pop, like a light blue and a dark blue. And so I went ahead after I got this green one and, and ordered some of the really cheap ones off of Amazon because I really like this pencil. So how does the pencil rate? Well, start with what I always start with, which is the writing experience. It's good. Feels good in my hand. Okay, not the best, but certainly not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Quality, good. Even though it's all plastic, it feels just really sturdy. And pocket clip is sturdy. The tip that conceals the retractable sleeve seems really sturdy. It's not like it's going to break off. Um, really satisfying click 
with this mechanical pencil, it has uh, a pilot mechanism in it, which pilot makes great mechanisms, just like Pentel does. For features, I'm going to go with good. Retractable sleeve is huge if you're like me and need to carry your mechanical pencils around, so I need them to be pocket safe. And it uh, has a what looks like a strong pocket clip. So features, we're going to go with good. And then for price range, like I said, it's cheap. Okay, so if you can gain access to them and you want to bother ordering one, you can get it just as cheap almost as Pilot G2 if you're willing to sacrifice the color and maybe not get the exact color that you want. Oh, it comes in purple too, violet. Um, that's an example one that's more expensive and orange is a little bit more expensive as well. So it comes in a wide range of colors. So how does this fall on the top 10? Well, on the top 10... I'm going to go with, um, it doesn't make the top 10, but it's really close, so it's going to get an honorable mention. I'm going to knock the Zebra M301 off of the honorable mentions list, because it doesn't just doesn't have the features that the Rex script does, um, and is a little small, in, in my opinion. So, Zebra M301 comes off the honorable mention list, Pilot Rex script goes on, definitely check it out for this price point. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep posting more mechanical pencil videos. You can see in the background here, I have a little preview of a video to come. We have uh, one of my pencil cases in which I'm delaying a, or I'm displaying a big part of my collection there, and so I'm going to make a video about my collection coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.